Hello, welcome to another Science in Minutes. I'm science teacher Mr. Hall, and today I have a special guest. This is Tyler. I'm in fourth grade. Fourth grade. All right. So um, Tyler has been doing some research on some pets that we have in the library here. Can you tell us a little bit about what we have in this tank? Um, um, Oxalals, they look, uh, they're amphibians, and they look like they're smiling underwater. They also they, they can regrow body parts if they ever chop get off or chopped off. They look like mud puppies or um or like tadpoles. Yeah, they kind of do. So if there's if there's five main kingdoms of life, you have plants, animals, um, bacteria, which are monarans, uh, protists, and fungus. Which one are these? They're animals. They're animals. So animals are either vertebrates or invertebrates. Are these what are these? They're like well, I mean, it, it's kind of hard to tell because they look so worm-like, but these are actually vertebrates. They have a skeleton inside of their body. Oh, they're swimming around. So you can't see their bones because they're in the inside of their body, right? But um, there are five kinds of vertebrates. You have mammals, reptiles, amphibians, Bans, fish, and birds. birds. Okay. And so which is this? This is an amphibian. Yeah. And what, what makes an amphibian an amphibian? So they can live in water or land, but oxalals, they prefer to be in water. They're in two lakes, they can be found in two lakes in Mexico City. Mm -hmm. I don't think that word is really Mexico City. Um, and they like bury themselves in mud. They eat um, like fish, worms, and insects. They use their mouth since they don't have a, like, it's kind of hard to see, but I don't know if they have a tongue or not, but they, like, vacuum them up. And they're also, since they're amphibians, they're related to toads, frogs, and mud puppies. Salamanders. Salamanders, newts. You're right. Yeah, those. so these guys prefer to stay in the water, though, right? So a lot of times these guys will stay in the water where, like salamanders will lay eggs in the water and come back on the land, and frogs yeah. will spend time in the water, but they come back on land. These guys generally stay in here. Is it true that, that we aren't quite sure if they if they still exist in the wild? No, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I, I apparently that they're a pretty fragile species, and we aren't sure if they exist in the wild or not, but they certainly exist as, uh, as pets. They look like newts or salamanders. They kind of do, yeah. It's like and a tadpole. It's like they're fused together to make an oxalot. And they're breathing with gills, right? Uh huh. Right here are the gills. They grow back. They even, if that's like chopped off, they'll even grow that back. And they'll use their legs to walk on land, but they'll use their tails to um, swim in water. That's a structural adaptation, right? Yeah, very good. All right. Well, thank you for uh, for doing the research on these oxalotos for us. You're welcome. And thanks for being on, on uh, Science in Minutes. And as always, Science, science is all over.